should have worn a jacket. <laughs> it's supposed to be warm and sunny today, but it's windy. The clouds are out, and I'm in short sleeves while Rachel has. I'm prepared. I long sleeves sweater. always. I need to check the weather five times a day. So today we are exploring Plymouth, and there's two main attractions around here: Plymouth Plantation, and also the Mayflower ship. But we are not seeing either of those. The Mayflower ship is actually being restored right now and is not going to be ready until next year, right? Yep, sometime next year. And the Plymouth Plantation is pretty much exactly like Jamestown, which we just saw a couple weeks ago. So we're going to be skipping those, but instead we're just going to explore Plymouth, the surrounding area, and hopefully find some cool things to check out. took a bathroom break and the girls thought they'd play a hilarious joke on me that while I was in the bathroom they were gonna hide and cry for me. So when I came out there were no children. I could just hear their faint cries. They were hiding from me on the other side. They thought it was hilarious. I did not think so. When that happened, before that, I would, um, Mariah sprayed water in my eyes and I pretended to be blind. <laughs> This must be payback for all the times that I hid in the clothing racks and the stores from my mom and gave her a heart attack. That's what this is. It's payback. me are boats that you drive to other boats, as you can see. Since we're going to be in the Boston area for a while, and close to Plymouth actually, we picked up a couple brochures and pamphlets for some of the harbor cruises, uh, lobster excursions, and whale watching cruises, which we're hopefully going to do maybe next week since we have a lot of time here, and it's probably one of the most unique things that we can think of. Lana's been complaining all morning. Now I have to carry her. Tired. Now I have to carry her and now. And so no, Mariah is carrying her <laughs> because I refuse to because I know she's really not. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing there? I turned into graffiti. Now we can move on the wall. My favorite thing about cities is that they're really small alleyways. Um, we haven't seen one yet, but now we're in one. Um, we might find some other ones, but we'll see.
every time we're walking around and there's these binocular telescope things, Mariah always jumps in to see if they're actually free. We've actually found a couple that are, but these ones, how much does this one cost? 25 cents, and we don't carry around 25 cents unless we're going shopping so we can get cart or if we uh, are going to buy something. Yeah, who carries money with them? Why doesn't they accept credit cards? Come on. It's credit cards. Massachusetts has some weird signs. We passed one earlier that says thickly settled and now we have a sign that says police officer ahead. Never seen either of those signs in my life. And those even. Awesome. They're going to just take a quick boarding photo for you guys. in Plymouth as we hinted before and we are going whale watching today. We found a really good Groupon deal which gave us $18 discounts for adults, taking the price down to $35 per person instead of $53. So we're going to go out, find some whales and hopefully have a great, great time and get some sun. Hopefully not sunburned though.
coaching tour is over and all of our stomachs have finally settled, the ride back was much smoother, so now we're ready to eat. Nick and I are actually celebrating our anniversary tonight, and we're eating at the Cabby Shack right on the pier in Plymouth. It looks delicious. You ready to eat? Yeah. Okay. So looking at the menu online for the restaurant, it looked like there was actually more seafood options than there actually are. There's a whole pizza section, there's a pasta section. The soup and section. The soup section, and the seafood section is probably one of the smallest sections on the menu, which is very disappointing because we're right on the water. And most of the seafood stuff is fried, which isn't helping Rachel out at all on her diet, trying to stay away from fried foods. So, we found what we wanted, so let's see if it's actually going to be any good. Watching was a success. Yes, awesome. So was dinner. It wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but it was still good. And that's gonna wrap it up for Plymouth for us. And tomorrow we're heading into Boston. Boston. I've been one time before, but Rachel's never been. So I'm excited to take them there. She's been talking it up, so I hope it's good. Yeah. Should and be. we love cities. We'll probably be eating out tomorrow night too. We don't do it that often, but you got to do it when you're in Boston. 